before the satellites. Yes. Is that what makes this viz so special? What's so critical about this, this is the only data set that we have that really shows the biological response to environmental change. Okay, We have all these other instruments that measure how the earth changes, what the temperature, the winds, the currents, rainfall, things like that. We have all of that. But this data set shows what does the earth's biology do in response to that environmental change. And I think that's one of the strengths of the SVS is being able to show that data in a way that a normal average person can really respond to. And what you've been able to do, Alex, is you make it beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, I it, mean, it, you, it is very attractive. You, you know, we're looking at the living Earth. We're looking at our home planet change day in and day out. And there's a visceral connection that we have to this home of ours. Yes. We know there's only one planet we know which has um, an active biosphere or a biosphere, and that's our planet. We know from the Hubble Space Telescope there are one to two trillion galaxies in the universe. Galaxies. And this is the only planet we know which has life. And it's very special and it's very dear. And this representation to me captures that. Yeah, I mean, on my part, um, I mean, really the challenge here was just kind of wrangling all this 20 years worth of data. Um, so, I mean, you guys did an amazing job at collecting it all and uh, creating data sets that can easily be used together. I mean, with the biosphere, it's primarily uh, uh, sea whiffs, avers, um, aqua, is it aqua modus? Yeah. yeah. And so uh, you look at this image, and there's so much here that we still don't understand. I agree with Gene. We're looking at the consequence of instruments on satellites, not looking away from Earth, but looking at Earth through time, how things change, how things vary or don't. It's just fascinating to look at, and it's so dynamic. And this is what's great about time series. Well, that's one of the thoughts I had was that, it, you know, the people in this room right now, if you ask yourself the question, what have I done to make sure that the Earth is a healthier and safer place? I think the people in this room can fairly say that they've done quite a lot um, in collecting the data and then creating the data in a, in a way people can understand it. What, what I love about this is there are no country boundaries. There's no distinction between land science and ocean science or it's one world one planet one home yeah, this is our living planet exactly and the more we as humans on this planet inhabitants of the planet look at this as one entity that we are all responsible for i think the the sooner we will be able to come up with solutions to a lot of the problems that we're facing right now we have to look at this as as one planet where what happens in one place affects what happens in another place. One planet, one climate, one people, we're all in this together.